So hello everyone, welcome to the final installment of my review for the keyboards with numpads. So final for now because this is the third out of the three keyboards that I have presented to you a few months back that I will be reviewing. And again, the theme of this succession and series of reviews are keyboards with numpads because for the longest times, uh, I've been trying to get a lot of people into the mechanical keyboard hobby and a lot of them, especially for those just getting curious with this hobby, trying to dive into the hobby, would ask me for recommendations of layout with numpads because for a lot of them, the numpad is very important. But again, as I tell you, the more you dig deeper into the hobby, well, again, it's a preference, but for me, the more I dug deeper into the hobby, the more I find that uh, smaller layouts, 60%, 65%, and even smaller keyboard layouts are more enticing, all right? Uh, with that being said, this right here is the Lychee GK98 keyboard. And uh, if you've been following the channel, the Lychee Gaming series of keyboard has been one of my favorite keyboards way back 2000. 22. And I think a lot of the success of this channel has been because of those review and modding guide that I did with the Lychee G60, G65 Pro. I forgot the exact model. It's been more than a year since I did that review. And now we have the Lychee GK98 um, mechanical keyboard. Um, this one is on the mid pricing scheme among the three keyboards that I have presented. The Thunder Robot being the cheapest and the Mons Geek M2 being the most expensive among the bunch. And uh, do take note that there are a lot of interesting keyboard layouts coming out uh, from higher end uh, suppliers and designers. The QK100 is, uh, has been teased in the website, really excited for that. I do hope I can get my hands on a review unit for that one, all right? So onto the, the details of this keyboard, uh, the important details. This one is a 1800 uh, layout keyboard. It is tray mounted, very, very standard. Uh, it does have a thin, very thin layer of uh, foam on the lower case to probably lessen the hollowness. It's north facing, it has a steel plate and the stabilizers are plate mounted and uh, it does come in with several switch options. I will link the Shopee link in the description below where you can check the full options available which includes several colorway. The one we have here is the interstellar roaming keyboard colorway, all right? Um, it does come interestingly with the Gatron Pro milky yellow option for key for switches and among the other options you have the ktt white ktt red wine uh, gatron pro red i chose the gatron pro yellow option which i think is a very good option for the price and then it has an xda profile pbt keycaps which are nice they're a bit thick i measured the keycaps it, it registers at around 1.2 to 1.3 very decent for for what the price you're play, you're paying for for this keyboard and what i do like about this keyboard is that for the whole set um it comes in at a very competitive price of 4380 and do take note uh it's a plastic case but it's tri mode you do have hot swap feature you do have rgb so at 4380 pesos you're getting a lot and it's a keyboard that's very decent for the price. It's a complete set, all right? You get good switches, you get decent keycaps, tri-mode connectivity, and a layout that is very appealing, especially for the beginners out there. Now, the only question is, is 4,380 pesos a good price for beginners? Which, in my opinion, I think it's kind of in a very iffy place if you're going to ask me if i were a beginner like maybe a year ago when i was just starting out in the hobby and then you would present me with this keyboard um 4, 000, 5, 000 peso price range jumping into the hobby i would probably say yeah uh reasonable but it's not like a it's not like a bargain you know what i mean all right um 
How does it sound? How does it type? Uh, here's the stock sound test. Right. So as expected, there's a bit of hollowness, um, a bit of lacking in, when it comes to sound. The, the good thing about keyboards like this is that it's very, very easy to brighten up the sound. It's very easy to brighten up the sound to make it sound, uh, if I may say, uh, more expensive. So what I did here is simply the tape mod, two layers of tape mod, and I used the lowercase uh, foam to dampen and to lessen the hollowness of the lowercase. And here's the sound test. So as you can see, very basic modifications and it really elevated the sound of this keyboard, right? How's the typing feel? It's stiff. It's stiff. Uh, do not expect more. Is, is stiff bad? Not really. Depends on your preference. But um, I don't think you can make this soft because that it's tray mounted. It has a steel plate. Um, honestly, if you're asking me, uh, spending a lot for modding keyboards like this, like changing the plate and then doing some of those crazy O-ring modifications, honestly, if you ask me, um, they're not worth it, okay? For me, they're not worth it because the amount of money that you'd be spending plus the effort, the end result is probably wouldn't be far from the typing field that you would get from the stock. All right. So my tip for you guys out there, if you're going to get keyboards like this, enjoy it as it is. Um, stiff is not bad. In most keyboards or in some of my keyboards, I do prefer the stiffer typing feel. All right. Um, so yeah, um, probably wouldn't go all out modding this keyboard to make it like bouncy as, as hell, but it's good. I like I like how it types. All right. So final thoughts. Um, the Lychee GK98, being in the mid mid tier of the three keyboards that I've presented to you, um, at four thousand three hundred eighty, considering that it has decent keycaps, very good switch options, the stabilizers are okay out of the box. They would be benefiting from tuning and lubing, but as it is, I'm okay with it. It's a good deal, four thousand three hundred eighty pesos better than the thunder robot which is just wired this has 2.4 and bluetooth compatibility all right it's not as good as the m2 but the m2 fully built will cost two to three times as much as this one so if you're not willing to spend that much if you're just trying out the hobby jumping into the hobby for the very first time this might be the keyboard for you it's good all right, plain and simple. That's my thought on the Lychee GK98. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope to see you on the next videos. I have other exciting keyboards on the lineup. Next is the Zoom 75, which is very, very good. The one right here, I think you're getting a glimpse of this keyboard right here. I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that keyboard review. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.